G'day guys, how are we? I'm Quacker Jack and welcome to another motor vlog. So, I've got a day off today which is a rare occurrence, so I'm going to make the most of it and take you guys along with me out on a motor vlog. We are heading out uh, just to do a blitz of the local hinterland and then I'm planning to come back and take you guys to a very special spot here on the coast. Uh, it's a local favourite, it's called Burley Heads. Um, I've got the drone, we're going to send her up and have a look around there. We're already hitting some rain, love that. Uh, we're off to a great start. So on the ride out today, we're going to be talking about a few things that have been on my mind lately. Um, stuff like having a healthy work-life balance, um, how running a YouTube channel sort of plays into that too because it's something that um, I'm still working out and yeah, so hopefully we avoid all this rain that's been around lately and uh, we have a fun little ride. <laughs> Feels so good to be on the bike again. I think I say that every single time I do one of these and it's because sometimes there is a fair amount of time between when I get to go out on rides and man I just I just try and make the most of it and really enjoy my time when I can. Hope someone's such a great bike too. Yeah! <laughs> But it is a Monday today, so the roads are pretty quiet, which is good for me. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo! Oh yeah! Sorry, we are going to have a serious discussion, but I'm just having too much fun right now. <laughs> Yes! <laughs> Woo -hoo. Bit of gravel there. Alright, so let's talk about work-life balance because that's something that's been on my mind and um, been a bit hard for me lately. I've told you guys that I uh, found a job at one of the local theme parks which I really enjoy but right now, especially with school holidays around, it means that I'm working there like six or seven days a week um, and I'm struggling to find the time to stay persistent and consistent with YouTube while doing that. What my life looks like right now is go to work during the day, come home, open up my laptop, work on the channel. And like I'll be honest, coming home after a full day of work, it's, it's hard to find the motivation to sit down and do research on motorbikes or write a script for a video or you know, and I don't have time during the day to go out and film. So I'm trying to work this out right now and it's probably a bit worse than it normally is because of the school holiday period. Obviously a theme park's going to be very busy during that time and that's why I'm so much busier than normal, but it means that, uh, you know, I'm not putting out as much content. And you guys have probably noticed that. My videos have gone down to, you know, from once a week to once every two weeks and even that I'm finding it hard to keep up with so it's one of those things where I have to sort of work out my priorities and think it what's more important to me because in an ideal world YouTube is what I would do full-time that's what I do want to do whoa Fuck. Um, if I could make videos full time, I would. 
That sounds like the dream, right? Unfortunately, while I do get compensated from my channel, it's not enough for me to live on or so like, you know, it's, it's just not enough. I'm w working hard and that's why I come home and I work after work, work after work, on the channel because that's what I do want to do. So I'm, I'm trying my best to make that a reality. But like I said, unfortunately we're not there yet. And that leads me on to another thing, which is I don't think people realize how much work goes into <laughs> like a YouTube channel. It's not just like record yourself on a camera and then stick it straight up onto YouTube. A lot of work goes into this and that's something that I'm still learning. For example, the Versus series that I have here where I compare like two bikes together. I put so much effort into those videos. Like it's very time consuming. I researched the shit out of those bikes. It's like collate all the data. Then I have to write a script. Then I have to like record it and put it together. And all in all, those videos can take me like up to a week to make. And that's because I want to put out good quality content. I'm not going to compromise on that. I'm not going to half-ass my content. So that's why the videos have, you know, on average gone down to once every two weeks instead of one. It's just because I don't have the time to do one a week. What's going on here? Ah, road's collapsed. Damn. Anyway, sorry about that, <laughs> it was a bit of a rant, um, moral of the story is I'm just finding it hard to find enough time and energy to work on the channel, but I'm not going anywhere, I'm going to keep working hard on it, um, incremental growth until we get to it to be a full time thing, so, because this is what I love to do, I'm just in that awkward middle stage of it not being enough to support me full time yet. Now, if you've been following the channel for a while, you'll remember what happened last time I was up here. <laughs> Better not ride on the grass. Oh, look, there he is. Alrighty, I think we're going to head to Burley now. Never been there on the channel before, and I want to send up the drone because I reckon it's going to be absolutely stunning. Oh, also, um, another bike has come onto my radar for my next. Last time I spoke to you guys, um, it was between the Z900 and the Z900 RS, and they are definitely still up the top of the list, but there's another one that um, I keep thinking about, and it's funny. When I was in the shop, in the dealership, actually test riding the Z900 RS, I saw it in there and um, it really caught my eye, but I, I didn't think too much of it at the time. Now, one of the comparisons that I'm currently working on for the next Versus series is, I guess I'll give it away, the Ninja 1000 versus uh, the Suzuki GSXS 1000 GT. And the more that I researched those two bikes, the more that I actually started to really like the look of and think that um, the Ninja 1000 SX might be a really good fit for me. So, I'm thinking I might actually take one for a test ride because, you know, when I was looking for my next bike, what I said was I want something that's comfortable for the longer trips. Um, I can put luggage on to go for like tours and still have like a nice fun engine. And um, it seems like the Ninja 1000 is right up that alley. It's got like 140 horsepower. You can put tons of luggage on it. It's good looking and comfortable. So. My current plan, take one for a test ride and see if it suits.
I can I can just see it being really good for the channel, you know. I said I wanted to go for some long tours, and uh, that might be the perfect bike for it. I can imagine myself. I can I can picture myself just like riding to, you know, all the way down to Melbourne or something like that, and just doing like a week long trip where I stop at places along the way and do like really awesome motor vlogs and. Yeah, I got that idea in my head, I just can't get it out. I think that might be the bike for it. Anyway, I gotta ride it first, I gotta test it first. Um, but yeah, the Ninja 1000, what do we reckon? Sports Tourer. I don't know why Sports Tourers don't get more love, actually. They seem like a really underrated class of motorcycle. Um, I'm gonna do more research on them. Anyway. Let's head on down to Burley. I'm going to send up the drone there and uh, we're going to have a look around because that place is beautiful. Burley's really up and coming lately. Um, it's not the same as it used to be. For better and for worse, I think. Super, super busy now. Very, very trendy. Burley used to be like the sort of, um, you know, like the local secret. Had probably the best beach on the Gold Coast. I know everyone comes for Surface Paradise, but... Uh, Burley really, honest, like if we're being honest, Burley had the best beach. It's kind of like these days, it's kind of like secrets out and you know, everyone knows about Burley and I don't know, like it's still good, but it's almost like too trendy now. Kind of reminds me of like Byron Bay, like Byron Bay used to be this like really cool laid back place um, and now it's, well, I mean, if you've watched Byron Bay's on Netflix, you'll know what I mean. Although I have to say, there's a photographer who's got a place here, Sean Scott. Man, his photos. He actually kind of got me into photography because I found him on, I think it was Instagram. And his local photos of um, the Gold Coast were just absolutely insane. You should check him out on Instagram. Sean Scott Photography. The beauty of having a motorbike. Oh. All right, I'm gonna go set up the drone. Alrighty guys, well it's starting to rain now so I'm gonna call it there. Hope you guys enjoyed that and I'll see you again soon. Bye.